Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, what's going on with Capricorn? Who needs to hear a message? Struggling with Knight of Swords. Needs to look at Four of Cups. Energies coming in. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Powerful, powerful, powerful. All right. What else we got going on with this Knight of Swords? I had one and then I lost it. Ooh. Had it and then you lost it. Ooh, relationship. Okay. Love. Connection. Four of Cups. What do we got for Four of Cups? Okay. Bridges and the Dog. Future Energies. The Magician and the King of Pentacles. Challenges. Mask. Take the mask off. Take the mask off because you're powerful, more powerful and stronger than you realize and that you are in control of the situation, right? Take that mask off, believing in you. Okay, let's see, I'm feeling like these. Okay, so what you may possibly be struggling with is we have the Knight of Swords taking an action towards a relationship, questioning a relationship. Love, that maybe you don't love, I feel like what came to mind is you don't love something as much as you used to. You're not as dedicated to it. I don't know if it's a job, maybe where you live, career, relationship. But I almost feel like it's like you're not, loving it as much as you used to or that you're not feeling it as much as you used to all right so let's see what else we got going on here oh yeah hierophant the hangman yeah i feel like you're questioning something you're questioning something that you're not feeling like you're on the right path like you're not you're like, no, I don't think this is the right thing for me. I don't think this is what, I don't think this is, because I'm not feeling it anymore, right? That you've lost interest in something. Okay, so we have the, what do you need to look at? There's something else that you need to see. There's something else that you need to look, you need to step away from this. You need to, Step away from something, right? Ace of Cups, the Empress, and Two of Cups. Sometimes it's like you have to step away from something in order to look, excuse me, back in to see it. Bridges, bridging a gap, putting something together. And then we have the dog, which represents friendship. Is it starting back from basics, like starting from the beginning? Has something become too overwhelming for you and you're like, ugh. And but now it's like starting back at the beginning with something. Renewing something. Renewing vows, renewing something. Sometimes when we're in relationships, right, that we get so busy with life and that we get so busy and then we start to separate from those people, right? Because that person goes on their dreams and their directions and they're doing their thing and then you're doing your thing and you're spending a lot of time doing that and it's almost like the two of you, like you start to separate, like you start to walk away, like you're together but like you're not together. And I feel like it's almost like looking at how do we bridge that, how do we come... Going back to friends, going back to friendship, going back to where it all started, right? Where it all started, aces, where it all started, 
where you were able to see eye to eye and like you did those fun things because you know sometimes relationships you start to grow apart and I feel like that's what's happening here is that you're questioning how do I really feel about this you know I feel like I'm not as dedicated as I was I don't feel that connection but is it because you you you've you've lost that connection right that you've lost those date nights that fun that you used to have together because sometimes it's like too much about work and bills and everything else and it's like well let's go out and have fun right let's let's go have some fun I feel like you have to realize that you are in control of this situation and that if you want change, you have to be changed. And if you feel that there is a separation, but you feel that you want to bridge that gap and get that friendship back on track, I feel like you have to take the mask off and see what it is that you truly want in this relationship and what are those things that there's going to be some challenges coming in. But I feel like it's if you want to get that back on track, right, moving forward, what are those things that you can do? Can you set up those date nights, right? Can you block out some time and say, hey, you know, we need to do some fun things, right? We need to do something fun. We need to do something exciting. Sorry, this light. not sure there <laughs> um focusing on the positive finding the ways to get this relationship back on track if that's what you want but I feel like that's that's what the goal is here is like you have this relationship and that you've lost the friendship that connection and how do you get it back on track but being truthful how you really feel right but you taking it into your own hand and not waiting for that other person to do something, but you stepping up to the plate, right? You stepping up to the plate and finding the direction to push this towards, right? The magician being powerful. All right, let's pull some cards. Energy surrounding this reading. Energy surrounding this reading. Chaos and conflict. That's what I feel that's going on between that's this here. Chaos and conflict. Conflict, but I feel like the conflict is within yourself and that you're questioning that. What do you want to do? How do you feel? But is it because you kind of lost that friendship, right, that you used to have within this relationship? Community. That one's come out a lot. Let's pull one more community, co-create, working together, working, co-create, working together, right? The both of, both of you may be feeling the exact same way, but have you communicated to that person? Have you communicated together to find out how that other person is feeling? Because maybe they're feeling the same way that you are. Journey, you are on a journey. Without a doubt, you're on a journey. You are on a journey. All right. I'm kind of feeling one more. One more. What, are the, what else do you have for Capricorn? Okay, nothing turned over. Journey. You're on a journey. Do you have your own journey that you want to go on and it doesn't include this person? Do you want to go off in your own direction? Hostilities. Are you feeling angry because you want to go off on your own journey but this person is not supporting you or they're, they're not there for you to help you with this? Financial constraints. Do you want to go on this journey for some something new? Do you want to do a new job or do you want to start a new career but you feel too tied down that you you can't do that, right? Envy. Envy. Envy, hostilities. Angry about something, right? Could be angry about finances. 
angry about money. Sometimes that can create, definitely that can create dis- distance within a relationship. It can create frustration. Do you feel that the other person is able to pursue their job and their career, but you haven't been able to, they're not supporting you in your journey, right? And in, in your pursuit of that business or career that you wanted. I definitely feel like this is what needs to be addressed here is this envy and this hostilities. What does that represent to you? What does that mean? Over here, that kind of goes with that mask. Are you pretending that everything is okay when it's really not? Which I kind of feel like there's, there's some pretending going on here. It's taking off the mask and being true to how you really feel. That Are you envious of that other person because they're able to pursue their dreams or go after those things that they want to go after, but you feel that they're not being supportive for you? Sometimes we feel like that happens. But what, what does that represent for you? That's what you have to be in touch with. All right, so I'm going to use my charms. All right, I'm going to grab some. Ah, I thought there was one more. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see. Journey. So I was thinking of, we have the witch's hat. So I feel like that is that broom, right? Which is, and then the broom, and then the hat, and then flying and gliding and going on that journey. Let's see, we have the... Yep, these two. We have the wine glass and we have the key. Community is the key, surrounding yourself with those supportive people, right? We have the birthday cake. Celebration, celebrating community. Coming back together, right? That that's a celebration. We have the wine glass, which is celebration. Then we have beautiful, beautiful journey. We have quite a few hearts that came out here. We have the heart here, which is growth. We have, look at the heart right on the two of cups. And then we have this heart on the two of cups. And then we have the star. I feel like this is something that you need to be aware of. This is something that is, I feel like it's something that you need to be aware of is this hostilities. What is the true, what is the core of the hostilities that you're having between you and this person? I feel that you have a beautiful journey heading your way and that you're on this beautiful journey. I feel like community is the key and celebration. It could be like your birthday. It could represent your birthday, although we already, we just went through all Capricorn birthdays. So maybe it represents like a year's time or by your next birthday. We have blessed, blessed. So right now, I kind of feel like this is kind of the friendship, but blessed even though it's on financial constraints, I feel like it has to do with that those are going to turn around for you, that those are going to change for you. Because I feel like you're being more aware of those things, right? Sometimes being aware that is this causing friction? Is this, is this causing problems? And how do we change this, right? I don't feel like financially you're struggling. I feel like it's financial constraints goes with you're not being able to pursue something that you wanted to pursue, a, a business or career or education. But I feel like when you're able to bring that to the forefront and you're able to discuss it with your partner, that I feel like that changes everything. And you become blessed. Like that turns everything around. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.